Good morning pilots and welcome back to Basic Fundamentals F15C. This will be Course 6 where we discuss BRA and how to effectively use it with the F15. Now before we get digging into the how, let's talk about the what. BRA stands for Bearing Range and Altitude. It is an acronym used to identify either target or aircraft locations um, in the air. Now this could be BRA from a location or BRA to a location and we'll talk about the difference to that in just a minute here. Now, before we dig too much into the meat of it, the one thing I want to touch on real quickly, especially when dealing with the F-15. F-15, our bra is always going to be identified uh, easily using a waypoint, uh, as the HSI will register our indications based on our waypoints. So you always want to make sure that you're checking your waypoints to see if any of them are overlapping the bullseye. The bullseye, if we go to our F-10 map, looks like this guy right here. Okay, and if you're on blue force, it's blue. If you're on red force, it's red. And it is a symbology that every aircraft or ground unit on the map can see. Okay, so it doesn't matter if um, I'm in an A-10 or a Huey, the bullseye is going to be in the same location and be visible to everybody on my team. It's important to use the bullseye whenever possible as it is an easy way for everybody to call out targets or bandits based on the bullseye's location. Okay, um, no one has to have the same waypoints plugged into their FMCs or their, or their uh, nav datas. Um, they can use the bullseye as that reference. Now in our case, we have waypoint three, so I'll switch to that now, is directly over the bull. Whenever you go into a multiplayer mission or create one of your missions uh, for the F-15, it's always important to uh, put your bullseye over what's typically the target area um, or a primary anchor point for all of the uh, forces included on the map. Um, it's important for the F-15 as you will be able to easily identify your position in relationship to the bullseye and therefore be able to reverse calculate someone else's position to the bull. Okay, so now let's get into the how. How do we establish our bearings in the F-15? So for that part, we're going to come back down to our trusty HSI here. I'm going to go ahead and lock the camamera here for a minute and we'll go ahead and pause the server. Let's zoom in just a bit. There we go. And let's get us our cursor. Now in the previous course in the navigation course, we talked about the uh, flight path and the flight path indicator. So we have the course flight path course direction. We have the course heading here as well. The flight path uh, position indicator giving our relationship to the assigned flight path. And then of course the stern marker. All of these mean absolutely nothing when talking about bra. So I want you guys to disregard those for this particular course. We're still going to very much use the range but we're going to add a few more objects and we're going to be using our altimeter here. All right, so first let's talk about the four new indicators we're going to discuss today. So we have team one here, which is the one indicator here. This is indicating our forward direction. It will never change, so our forward heading is always identified by this one here. And then we have our stern heading, our six o'clock heading, right? Then we have team two here. So we have a triangle with a two and a square with a two. This is where the meat of it gets interesting. Okay, these are the ones that we're going to be using for identifying bra and then of course our distance to the bra. So as I told you before, we already selected waypoint three, which is directly over the bullseye. But before we start talking in terms of bullseye, we're just gonna use the waypoints. So let's say you're flying around with the buddies, you know, you have a few flights with you in the wing and you guys need to establish a anchor point, a point of which that all of you know can, you can reference each other's positions and easily be able to turn and engage with each other should someone need help, okay? So, in this case, first let's talk about how to get to the two part. We have a buddy who's called out. He says he's at waypoint three. He's in a lot of trouble. We need to get to waypoint three quickly. We're not caring about the flight path. We just need to turn and get over to that waypoint. That's where the triangle comes from. A triangle identifies our bearing to something, okay, or something's bearing from our position, okay? So, if we wanted to hurry and get to our buddy, we would turn to approximately 038 degrees, Okay, because our bearing, that's our bearing to waypoint three. Our distance is approximately 44 nautical miles, and our altitude is 5,400, or we could just say 5,000. Okay, that's close enough where we would be able to still locate somebody if we needed to. So bring it in the bra, okay? Our bra to waypoint three is 038 for 44 at 5,000. 
okay? And if we needed to turn an intercept waypoint 3, what we would do is take our triangle here and put it directly underneath the 1. That would mean that we are flying s straight for the waypoint. We're ignoring the actual flight path that we have programmed. We just want to get to it. We don't care how, what the path is. We just want to get there as quickly as possible. So if we had a buddy in waypoint 3 who was in trouble, we would simply bring the 2 underneath the 1 and go full power and, and get to him as quickly as we can. Now let's verify that for a second in the... Um, in the F10 map and this is why I used waypoint 3 under the bullseye so that way we have a reference map so here's what somebody would more likely say if they're talking about the uh, bullseye alright so he would say you know Hellraiser 2 bandit merged uh, directly over bullseye you know at 6000 alright so he said he's just telling us we need to get to the bull so we would go to the F10 map and remember we discussed it was about 038 degrees so let's go to the satellite view it's a little bit easier to see what's going on here and let's find our aircraft again there it is and then we're going to take out a handy ruler now remember we're talking about the waypoint's position from us so we're going to start with our aircraft so we're going to right click all right and there's our bull let's see what we get when we come at it and look what we got there okay so this is showing 037, but if you look, I'm a little bit off center, so that's fine. So basically, 038 degrees, and there's our 43, almost 44 nautical miles. And the altitude doesn't register on here at the moment, but you guys got the gist here, okay? So this correlates with what we were seeing here, okay? There's our 038 degrees, and there's our 44 nautical miles. Now, here's where it gets a little bit trickier. Now we're going to talk about the from side of things, okay? This is where you're most commonly going to hear these kind of bras given out, and especially when referencing the bullseye. Um, I'm going to use bullseye as my example today, but remember, if you do not have a waypoint that is directly over the bull, then that's when you're going to want to be using a, a waypoint. I want you guys to pick a waypoint as a team. Okay, guys, we're going to use waypoint 4 as our anchor point. And any call out you guys give, you're going to give it in reference to waypoint 4. Okay, so, you know, you might say, you know, Hellraiser 3, Bandit Merge, 035, 444, four, four, or uh, excuse me, waypoint Four. You're going to start with the waypoint, start with your location. So maybe back up a little bit. Whenever you're giving a reference point, you're going to start with the reference point, then say bra, then give your coordinates. So this would be um, Hellraiser 3, Bandit Merged, waypoint 4, bra, 038 for 4, 4 at, you know, 6,000, 7,000, whatever altitude you're at. And then that's going to let me know that once I'm at waypoint 4, okay, I know how to then turn to intercept you, and you're going to keep making your call outs as your position changes as your buddy comes to intercept. Okay, now there's some reverse calculation you guys can do to go directly to your your buddy, but that gets a little bit trickier, and we'll go over that in a much later course when we start getting to more of the advanced stuff. So to identify our position from, okay, so in this case we're going to use bullseye. Um, that is the most common one that you're going to hear in a multiplayer server especially, is you're going to hear bullseye bra. Okay, bullseye bra means that you are starting from the bull. When Whatever coordinates they give you, they're going to start from the bull and work your way out. Okay, so our bullseye bra, okay, is going to be, th this is where we're going to bring our square in. This is going to give our position from waypoint 3, which is over the bull. So it's going to be approximately 219 for 404 at 5,500 or 5,000. All right, so 2... 214 is what I want you guys, or 219, excuse me, is what I want you guys to remember. So we're going to come back here. We're going to right click again. There's our line. We're going to go to our aircraft this time. And notice what we got up there. So this is showing 217. Again, not a huge deal. It's not going to be perfect. We're a little off on the center, on the side here. Okay, 217 for 43. Okay, at 6,000. So if in a pinch, if I call out, you know, Hellraiser 1 Bandit Merged Bullseye Bra 219 for 44 at 5,000, you're going to immediately go to your F10 map. You're going to find your bullseye. You're going to draw your line. You're going to take it over here in the roughly in this area. You got 217, 21. Even if we'd gone 219, let's do that. So if we went to 219, there it is for 4, 4 that's still going to be close enough. That's still going to be to the point. I mean, at this point, if you were to come to this zone and I'm still engaged, you're going to be able to see me visually. You're going to acquire me visually probably somewhere in, the, in this area here. Okay? So, um, and if not by visually, you're definitely going to have me on radar. Okay? As long as I'm continuing to call out my information, allowing you to adjust your radar scans accordingly, you're going to be able to track me. All right, so that's how you the bullseye bra works, and that's why it's always important to create a waypoint in the F-15 that's directly over the bull. All right, this is pretty simple. 
okay? It's just a matter of understanding what you're telling and what you're being asked and how to acquire that. So remember, if you are looking for a bearing to something, if you're trying to call out something's bearing to you, so bullseye's bearing to us, right, is 038 degrees. Our bearing from bullseye is 219er, okay? We have our range up here, remember, and we have our altimeter. Obviously, you guys know are very aware of those by now. Um, use your waypoints and establish those prior to your flight. If you're flying with your buddies and you don't have a waypoint that is over the bull, call out your waypoint first. Waypoint four bra, waypoint two bra. Um, if you're in close proximity to home plate, you can even use it. So I'll show you guys something cool about that too. You know, if you need to get home quickly, so you can. Let's uncheck here. Let's unpause our camera. Oop, didn't mean to take a screen capture there. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cycle back down. That should be. Let's verify waypoint. You know what? Let's just do this because I have no idea what that's doing. So waypoint four I have programmed as a return to home plate, right? This waypoint four is directly over the air base. So I can do the same thing, right? So if I need to get home very quickly or I want to call out my bearing, okay, my to turn on course and get home, I could very easily turn to uh, 070, and that will take me directly home. So we would take the two, remember, bring it underneath the one, and that would get me back to the air base. If I need to call out my bearing, let's say I have a buddy who just took off, hey, taken off from, I can't remember what airbase I have selected currently, but, um, well, let's find out actually. Here, let's look at this. So if we, uh, we're going to pause the sim for a second, I'll go ahead and pause the camera again. Let's find out what airbase we're, we're selected to. So we're going to turn to uh, 065 degrees here at 20 miles. So if we go to our F10 map, let's find our aircraft. There we are. And what did I say? 06. Five is that right? So zero six five, and I said twenty miles. There it is. So there's so Alminhad, okay. So Alminhad Air Force Base or Air Base is where our home plate is. So if I called that out from a buddy of mine and I said I give him, he wants to know where we're at. He's just taken off, right? So I'm going to give him my bearing from the airbase, which is t uh, 245 at 20 miles, okay, at 5,000. He's going to be able to very easily start at the airbase, okay. He's going to come here. He's going to go to 245 degrees at 20 miles, and he's, again, he's going to be able to see me by this point, especially if I'm orbiting, right. Chances are we're going to intercept, okay. So that's another neat way to look at it, and you can do the same thing by using your ILS. So real quick unpausing the camera, unpausing the sim. If we switch into our ILSN mode, so we're going to hit number one on our keyboard. All right, so now ILS is selected. And this is going to take us a little differently, and I'll show you guys what I mean here. So if we go pause again, pause our camera one more time, now we're getting a bearing of about 069 degrees at 22 miles. So I'm going to try to zoom in on our aircraft real closely and see where it's going to take us. So let's see here. Uh, so we're going to click, and we're going to look for 069. Let's go ahead and go way out, because we're going to have to really drill it in. Let's take it out 20 miles. Uh, there we go. Oh, there we go. 20, eh, roughly around there. And we said 069. All right, so if we zoom in, where this is taking us is the beginning of the uh, ILS approach. Okay, so it's not going to take us quite to the airbase, it's taking us to the markers. All right, so this is going to take us into the approach where the first part of the ILS, I don't know if you guys remember from our ILS tutorial, um, the ILS takes you to the first approach, to the initial marker, and then it will change to get you on path to the actual runway. Okay, so that's another neat way that you can look at it too. If you need to get home, you can switch your ILS mode and simply turn directly on course. You don't have to fudge it with the... Uh, knee board or things like that. All right, so another neat way to uh, use our bearing indicators. All right, guys, well, that pretty much wraps everything up that I wanted to show you guys in relationship to bra using the F-15. So real quick recap, make sure that you guys are identifying your waypoints prior to takeoff. Try to locate one that is over the bullseye. The bullseye is referenced by all parties involved in the, in the mission. 
and um, remember you can use it to get home quickly if you need to uh, using your ILS or once again if you have verified that you have a waypoint that takes you back home all right um, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure you hit that like button make sure to subscribe if you haven't tell your buddies about it and until then this is overkill with the Hellraisers signing off I'll see you guys next time